guys, I'm down in my lair slash workshop. Uh, today it's cold outside. We are finally getting some winter weather, some winter cold. I shouldn't say finally like I've been waiting because I really have not. Um, hopefully the lighting is okay. Sorry, it's, you know, it's the basement. So actually I think the lighting is better down here than it is up in my dining room, which is where I usually do my upstairs crafts when I need the heat. Uh, not too bad down here today. Um, so I have to have in my booth areas to put littles and just interesting things to see and to sell. Now recently, I think I showed you what yeah. I did and I'll link that down below if you want to see it. My sister gave me this really cute bookcase. It's so cute. And I want to give it a little bit of a makeover and update and I'm going to do that today. So that's going to be part of this video. But I have so many other things. Now I got this really cool table. Hopefully you can see this. If not, I'll put the picture in while I'm talking about it. Uh, at the um, at my dump, at my local dump. They have a little area where you can set stuff outside, not covered, uh, and it gets rained on, snowed on, everything. And they just throw it away if nobody takes it. And I happened to go in and I found this table. And I have another one upstairs too which if I can, I'll get a picture of it. Uh, it's getting, I've got it all ready to go to my booth. I haven't painted it or anything. It's antique, it's mahogany. It's got the drop leaf uh, sides on it and a little drawer in the front. It's super cute. I wanna do it over just because it's so banged up and stained up a little bit, but I think I'm gonna try and sell it the way it is just because of it's an antique and and maybe somebody would like that in their home the way it is. It's not terrible by any means. Um, and this one isn't too, too bad either, but it does have some stains on the top and some places where you can see they've set like glasses and things on it. But for now, we're gonna work on this and I have one other project that I wanted to do. I'll see if maybe I can sneak a few more in here, maybe some smaller projects. So with that said, I'm going to get a little bit creative with this, Not not crazy but uh, I think I'm just going to fix it a little bit it needs some spots it's, I can feel some of the nails have come out it needs to be sanded down really badly so I'm going to do that as well and then um, I think I have some paper that from Jamie Ray Vintage that I got that's black and white and I think I want to put that on the back of this bookcase if it doesn't work out I have another something that I could use but thinking this is going to be black with that decoupage paper in the back. It is a retired paper. I don't know if they have any more. They were having a sale to get rid of the extras that they had. Uh, if there are any that can be had, I'll put the link down in the description for you if you're interested in that paper. We're going to get started with this project today. So I gave the bookcase a nice two actually uh, coats of the black spray paint, just thin coats for each, and it covered pretty well. This is going to be a primitive piece, so I'm going to be distressing it anyway. I used some 
off-white paint that I had and made the background for the back of the uh, bookcase lighter colored so that my paper wouldn't disappear if I use the black because I wanted to be able to see the flowers. So these were already cut. This is actually an extra large piece of decoupage paper and I had cut it for another project and it didn't end up working out the way I wanted. So these are not quite wide enough on some of the sections and in other ones it's just right. Uh, so I'm going to be doing something a little different once I get these all down. So I'm just using Mod Podge and I'm uh, adding it to each section. I could have popped the back off and done the whole thing uh, but again, I had already cut these pieces for another project, so I didn't bother doing it. I was pretty lucky that it basically fit. Uh, it fit width-wise. It was the, the height-wise that it didn't quite fit in spots. But it's okay. We're going to fix it. I did my Mod Podge in sections underneath the paper and just used a uh, plastic baggie to kind of smooth it down and get some of the wrinkles out. I did not get all of them out and that's okay with me. Again, this is the back of a bookcase so it's not going to be a big problem if it doesn't quite fit or if it has wrinkles. You're not going to really be able to see it if you have other things put on it. So I sealed it with the Mod Podge once I got it all down, got it nice and sealed and then I, once it was dry, let it dry overnight and I went back with some black paint and went around the edges of the paper and filled in where you could still see the white so that it had that black back. It looked like there was a black background on there. I wasn't really trying to be very neat. I wasn't trying to be crazy messy either. Uh, but I wanted to go back and distress it with some antique wax too. So I started out with a dark layer and then I'm going to go back in. Uh, with a little bit of lighter antique wax later on. I sanded down the edges and then here I'm going to do my antique wax and I'm just doing a little circle motion around the black uh, areas that I had painted and then I go back in and wipe it back. I did this on all three of the shelf backings and I think this looks really good and aged and I also did the middle of the paper but I did a very light coat so that it didn't look too dirty. So my next project is this heater. I got this at the uh, dump in the metal pile. It's a faux fireplace heater and I have not plugged it in. I'm not planning on plugging it in. I'm actually planning on taking all the, uh, the plug-in cords, all the heating elements, even this uh, faux firewood inside is all coming out. Probably this part too. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do anything with that. I'm not sure. I haven't dug into this and I've never done this before, but what I want to do is, once I take off this bottom heater fan thing, which is just a few screws on the bottom, I believe, once I take that out, it's going to be a lot shorter. So what I want to do is uh, put some legs on it, if I can, and make this into a little fireplace, but use candles with the remote inside and you can decorate the top and you don't have to worry about heat. So I thought this would be a really cute idea for people that don't have a fireplace or a stove. They can hang their little stockings on it if they wanted to. I have two different sized legs that I'm toying with, I'm not really sure. So I have this one that is nice and long. I don't know the measurement thing. This is, uh, let's see, eight inches long, so or tall. So that would make it stand up a little bit. And then this one I think is four, three, four, four, four inches tall. And I'd spray paint these probably black so it would all match together. Um, I'm thinking more on these because 
Once this thing comes off, that's gonna drop that down about the three inches or four inches at those little legs that I showed you that were gold. So I'm thinking that I want it up a little bit taller. And those are the only two sizes that I have right now. So I'm thinking the taller one would be better. So we're gonna have to take this apart, see what we're gonna get into, which goodness only knows. So let's start doing that. See all this in here? I'm going to take all of this out, and they're all in here with screws, so I'm just going to take it all out as far as I can reach. I've already done all the wires on the outside, so I'm going to continue on taking this out, and we'll come back when I'm done. There's a lot of screws in this thing. Finally, finally got the faux, faux wood out. So that's good. Metal box here. But I think I'm going to keep it because what I'm going to do is put a piece of wood down inside here. And this will help uh, hold that up. I'm going to keep this back thing on because it's almost like a little screen. If not, you're just going to see black in the back of that. So I think I'm just going to cut a piece of wood that will fit this and lay it in there. And then I'm still trying to decide if I want to take this out or leave it. There, everything's cut, all the cords are cut, so it's not like it can actually work. But you don't see it when this is closed, so I may just leave it the way it is. Because I don't know what I would put there if, if not. So, I may just leave that there. All right, so I'm going to get a piece of, going to measure this out and get a piece of wood cut for in here so that I can um, start to put this back together. So I had to move these two front legs more forward, as forward as I could get them. Um, it was tipping when you opened the door, like when you did that, it was too tippy. So I moved it, I don't know, it was probably an inch and a half. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough to uh, keep it from tipping so you can open it and it doesn't tip. I don't want it to fall over. Um, so now that this is done, I'm going to take this I'm going to sand it down real quick and then I think I'm going to give it a spray of black and that way it'll match the whole thing and then I can go ahead and decorate it and I think besides cleaning it up and doing this board it's pretty well done and decorating all right let's see how this looks it's my 
board. I didn't bother doing the back because you're not going to be able to see it. Um, can't remember how I got that in there. Oh, yeah. That looks really cool. Still got to be clean. Haven't done that yet. Clean the glass off a little bit here. I'm going to put a little primitive piece of cloth in there. Maybe. Got some candles. see how this works. Ready? <gasps> Look at that. That is so cool. We saved this from the dump and now somebody's going to use this in their home. Once I get it cleaned up, it's kind of nasty right now, but you can decorate this for the holidays. The top doesn't get hot, so you can decorate the top. I'm going to add some greenery uh, garland for Christmas time in here I think if it'll fit I think I have some thin stuff just to dress it up and uh, this is gonna go in my booth and I'm pretty sure it won't last long so I didn't show spraying this but I spray painted this black it's just an just a, like a magazine stand um, and it was a dark brown and I just sprayed it black and I'm going to sand the edges to give it some distress i'm going to seal it and then i'm going to put it in my booth i'm going to be taking it down uh, tomorrow morning and once this is dry i'm going to take it and put it in my booth and add some greenery to it or something and put this for sale in there so in the next Pictures that you see are going to be uh, in my booth set up, so you can see how I do that. I'm on my way to my booth this morning, and I'm going down the driveway. You can see my driveway back there. I'm um, sitting down at the bottom, and everything's rattling and just making all kinds of noise. I am full of stuff to take down to my booth that I've been working on. <laughs> And it's just so funny, all the rattling that's going on. It reminds me of the days when I used to do craft fairs. Everything rattled on the way down and not so much on the way back because I had very little on the way back, but it's just kind of funny that I've got all this stuff. Anyway, you'll see it in my booth pretty soon. enjoyed my projects today I really love doing that stove I think it came out so cute and it was just pretty simple for the most part just taking the guts out was a little bit challenging but not too bad really and what a lucky find so if you enjoyed my video would you please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching have a great day